did you know that electricity and magnetism are actually very closely linked? I'm going to show you a really cool experiment that you can do at home that will demonstrate this principle. We're going to build an electromagnetic train. For this project, you'll need a spool of copper wire, preferably around 20 gauge, a AAA battery, six neodymium magnets that are just wider than your battery, a dowel that is just wider than your neodymium magnets, and some tape. Start by taping one end of your copper wire to your dowel, then spin your dowel to create a very tight coil of copper wire. Keep turning the dowel until you have at least four inches of tight copper coil. Stretch your copper coil out just enough so that each loop doesn't touch the one next to it. Split your neodymium magnets into two stacks of three. Orient them so they repel each other and then stick each stack to an opposite end of the battery. Slip your assembly into your copper coil and you should see your battery zoom across the tube. If your train doesn't move, try flipping the whole assembly around. If this doesn't work, try flipping one of the stacks of magnets. So how in the world does this work? Well, when you place your train into the copper coil, it actually creates a circuit. So electricity goes from the positive end of your battery, through your magnets, into the copper wire, and spirals back to the negative terminal of the battery. The electricity going through the copper wire actually creates a magnetic field which pushes against your magnets and pushes your train forward. That's basically how it works. Have fun experimenting at home and I'll see you next time.